Hey guys, Dave from Gorilla Painting here, and today we're going to be taking a look at some stuff from Foreground. So Foreground are a laser cut scenery company based in the UK, and one of the things that they're specializing in these days is pre-painted kits. Um, so one of their one of their kits, the uh, Stoic Arms Tavern, uh, took out the Best Wargaming Accessory Award at last year's Beast of War Gaming Awards. Um, and it's an absolutely stunning piece of, um, sort of uh, scenery engineering. I uh, don't have that one here um, because it's quite an expensive kit. But I'm taking a look at one of the smaller things in the range. So this is the High Medieval Cottage. So this is perfect for stuff like uh, Games of Saga, you could use it for Kings of War, Warhammer, anything like that. And uh, personally I think it's also still useful up until um, games like say Bolt Action and, and things like that, 28 mil scale. Um, for just a sort of older, more sort of um, dilapidated rural building in a World War II setting. So they come in these little bags with all the parts. So you get a good instruction manual here. And then all the cuts, all the parts are pre-cut and pre-painted um, in this sort of daub, um, sort of cream colour here. You get um, some stuff for the insides like doors and ladders and things like that. It also comes with the thatching for the roof. So, yeah, there's plenty of stuff in these things. And I'll show you one which I've been building up over the last day. This is the cottage which I built last night. Um, I spent about an hour, an hour and a half, um, just building away while I had a movie running in the background. So it's quite an easy sort of thing to put together. Um, basically, you assemble the sides in, and then you build up the layers. Still looking really fluffy on the flat on the thatch because I haven't um, done the final step, which is to coat it with some watered watered down PVA glue and then trim it, which is why it's sort of uh, lifting up a little bit in a sort of mohawk along the top. Basically, there's uh, three main parts to this building. So you've got the top part of the roof here, which lifts off. There's not much detail on the inside of the roof, uh, but you won't really see that very often. So that opens up to show you inside. So you've got this little upper story here, which has a ladder leading up to it, but that will also come off. And you've got the ground story as well. So you've got detail on the inside of the walls. Um, there's a ladder, there's also a fire pit, which I've still got to put together, which can glue in down here. And I may spend a little bit of time just putting some texture and stuff uh, on the base of it. Um, but that's something I'll do down the track, because as you can see, when it's all put together, it looks pretty good from the outside. Um, I'll do a little bit of weathering and stuff, so what I'll do on these is I'll use the uh, AK Interactive wash for wood, and that will just pop out all these beams and the wood grain and stuff in there, and then I'll do some streak and grime and then some earth effects and stuff around the bottom. But the main thing with these, and the reason why I really like them, um, I've got about six of these to build up at the moment, is that with very little time, you can get some very nice looking terrain on your battlefield. Um, that's also useful um, for playing various different systems. So stuff like this would be great for Frostgrave, uh, stuff like Mornheim and stuff as well. So there's a lot of other ranges which Foregrounds do. Um, they do a Fabled Realm, Realms range, which will be the next one which I'm buying kits from. And that is done in very much a sort of ruined um, high medieval city. The likes of Mordheim or, or Frostgrave and stuff, so there's this is some big kits which are perfect for that. But I'm really liking these, I love how fast they are to put together. They look really nice on the table. Um, once the thatch is all glued down and stuff, it'll look quite nice and realistic. Um, so, yeah, they're a great, great piece of kit. I'm definitely enjoying building them um, and having a lot of fun with them. So, I'll have another video for you in a couple of days with what this looks like once the thatch is done and the weathering stuff is applied and uh, what some of its other buddies in the range look like. So cheers guys, thanks for watching and as always, happy modelling.